Hey everyone, grab a beer here. Wanted to uh, go over a kind of summary on the current state of World of Warcraft and where I feel the game is at and where it's heading. Um, first off, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments saying I'm a hypocrite because I've been talking negatively about the game, um, primarily the cues. Uh, that still stands completely. Uh, I feel like there's no excuse why in 2022 we still have queues in any game. Uh, it just does not make sense to me. You can try to explain it. Uh, no. No. Nope. I think it's uh, cost. It's just a cost measurement that they're team is deciding that they don't want to buy certain things that they would rather just allow the game to struggle for a bit and eventually it'll die down enough and then they save money. I mean, that's just what it is. At the end of the day, it's a cost thing. It's their investors somewhere on the line, their team of analytic um, personnel have decided that this is the best formula. And it probably is, but to us playing, it obviously isn't, but they know at the end of the day that there's still people waiting in queue for eight hours. So obviously it didn't turn people's subs off. Uh, there's a lot of people posting that they turned their subs off, but they didn't. They're still playing. I'm still planning or playing after I just bitched about it. Uh, that's the truth. The fuck is this? Wait. What the fuck? Is this? Thank God. Jeez, I've been trying. I just I didn't understand this fucking quest. I've been trying to get the shoulder enchant, and I think that's it. I think that's what start that gets me out of hatred with those sons of bitches. These fucks. Uh, yeah, let's go over that really fast. Just so you know, I have been playing the game quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, look at this drink, okay? Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, I love, yeah. I spent 200 DKP on that, okay? Yeah. All right, the state. World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is the best MMO of all time. And it continues to be the best MMO out there. Even with every flaw. And I'm talking about retail also. World of Warcraft is the greatest MMO in the market. And unfortunately, I don't feel like anything even comes close. I don't think anything comes close to it. I've played them all. Final Fantasy, Elder Scrolls Online, Black Desert Online, Maple Stories, RuneScape. Um, I wonder if a lot of you know a game called Ragnarok. Played that. Something about World of Warcraft just does it. And I don't know if it's an addiction. I don't know if it's just WoW brain. Maybe it's a mixture of all of them. But... I don't think there will ever be a better MMO. And it comes down to one thing. And that has to do with this. The DPS meter. If you have a MMO, an MMO and you don't have a DPS meter or allow a DPS meter to be implemented in your MMO, it is automatically assumed by MMO players, the ones that actually want to maintain good rating or damage or heals per second, good tanking, all of that. It's assumed that your game is garbage if you don't have DPS meters. Um, for example, when I went and this has to do with I'm going to get into the gear too. When I went into uh, Elder Scrolls Online uh, about maybe two years ago now, 
Uh, I remember going to that game. It was around the time. Yeah, I forget, yeah, it was about two years ago. But anyways, so I go in there and I'm leveling. The stories are kind of cool. I mean, it's just like, God, there's so many quests. It was, I was just like, I was like, hey, what's the objective here? What do, what do I do? Oh, you do quests. Okay. I mean, there was a social network. There was a trading system. There was an auction house that was really com- complicated, to be honest. Um, like, yeah, but anyways, I, I went into the dungeons and I was looking up raids and I was like really confused how the gearing system was. It was like, okay, but what's the best item? What's my bis? I need to know what my bis is. I need to know what my rotation is. I need to know these things. And it was really challenging to find guides in those games. And then what killed it was I had no ability to see what other people's DPS was. Was I outperforming people? Were they outperforming me? I had no clue. There, and the response to the community was, are the mobs dying? Uh, yeah. But that's not the point. I want to compete against your DPS. I want to be the better player. And that's how it feels for most MMOs out there. That I have no ability to be able to see if I'm doing the better rotation. Do I have the better gear? Do I have the better talents? I have no way to tell. Now, obviously, there are ways around that. You can do like third party things that are against the TOS and it gets hairy and it's just not implemented as well as wow. Um, that's just the end of the day. The other thing is like, there is a path in world of Warcraft that has been laid out fundamentally by all the players that this is your best. These are your talents. This is the road. Deviate from the road, your character is garbage. So if you want to play a warlock, you're playing a warlock that has these specific talents. None of this garbage, play what you want. When I hear somebody in any MMO say, oh, it doesn't matter, just just you can go ahead and be a battle mage with an axe. Uh no. Your game's garbage at that point. Nope, there's only warriors and there's only casters. There's no in between. I don't believe in that unless it's a death knight or something. Um, There has to be a specific reason in a best in slot, a best road, a best talent tree, a best rotation. And obviously that's probably Wildbrain. And it's corrupted me. Uh, But I feel like that is... (laughs) I feel like that's it. And my biggest fear is looking at Ashes of Creation. And I really want that game to succeed because it looks amazing. But I think it's going to be Elder Scrolls Online. (laughs) Uh, I mean, looking looking at their roadmap of how you choose a character overwhelms me beyond belief so let's see i'm supposed to i can be an archer that is a rogue that also has warrior tendencies and play what you want no that is not fun to me like (laughs) i need to know what the best is and if they implement a dps meter which I just know they're not going to. I have a really strong feeling that Ashes will not implement a DPS meter, which I think is a huge mistake. Um, yeah. I think it's going to suck at that point. It's going to be a uh, game that you play for a little bit and you have no objectives. Because an MMO to me is the only objective I have is to become the most powerful. I need to know my sets. It isn't the questing. 
It isn't the social environment. I only socialize to get into raids and that's it. To get my gear and move on. Uh, I mean, maybe that's the wrong way to play. I don't know, but that's how I feel like the majority of people in World of Warcraft play. Especially today. Especially in Wrath. Uh, and that's the big selling point to Wrath is I think this is the this is the moment in time for World of Warcraft that has shined a light at why simplicity is a good thing. Nax was a joke. Was a complete joke. In fact, I feel like Kara was harder than Nax. I couldn't believe it. I was feeling like, okay, there's going to be a little bit of challenge here. Um, what? What the hell was that? And that was great. In fact, halfway through the raid, people were like, wow, this isn't that, this isn't bad at all. And I'm like, that's fine. This is a loot pinata. Hell yeah. I want my loot pinata. I want to become the most powerful warlock as I can, and then move on to my hunter, get them leveled. And this is the first expansion in a long time. Retail, I have a ton of characters, but for classic, I'm leveling my alts. It's so fun. Like to just see your progression go from here to here. That is great. And then I'm done. Like I love the idea that I can complete it and then move on. And I'm still playing. Like in fact, it makes me want to play more when I'm just top dog because then I get to show off why my seat of corruption is amazing. Okay. Like it's just awesome. Uh, yeah. This video is going to be long. Jesus, it's already 12 minutes. Uh, I'm kind of being slow here. I haven't even, I feel like I haven't even got to like some of my points that I wanted to get to. Jesus. Uh, but I'm not going to rush it. In fact, I'll just make a part two. Uh, part two is going to be talking about the future of retail and why I think that will continue to be the best MMO of all time. And if they can take elements of wrath and put it into retail, um, I think we're looking at a pretty good fucking expansion. To be honest, I think I biting my words here, uh, mark my words, I guess, but I think Dragonflight, it's going to be good. I, I think it's going to be bomb. If they don't have any kind of trickery systems and they just go off the loop pinata and what they're doing in Mythic Plus is good. I want different ways that I can log into the game, level, gear up, go to my alts, gear up, go to my next alt, gear up, go to my next alt. And if I can do that through Mythic Plus only, holy shit, that's amazing. And then when I'm geared the fuck out, then I'll go into the raids. If I sucked and I couldn't make it into a mythic rating guild or whatever, I can probably geared enough that I can suck at the game. That's amazing. World of Warcraft should be doing that. I mean, that's amazing. Give us reasons to gear in different aspects of your game. Hell, if you want to make quests give you good gear, do it. If you want to reward us, just reward us. That's all we want. Just reward us. Give us badges. The more you play, the more you're rewarded. That's how I see it. And I think most of the community is like that. Sure. Okay. You geared up faster than somebody else that was only doing raiding, but that's their fault for only doing raiding. They could have done Mythic Plus and raided. Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt anybody? Why is it unfair? It's stupid. It's fun if you just gear. Yeah. Um, if you made it through this video, please like and subscribe. 
I am trying to build this channel. I really like making these videos, even though they're just kind of rants. Uh, I, I find it entertaining, but yeah. Anyways, guys, take care. I'm going on vacation for about seven days, so I won't be able to uh, post any new videos. My next one, I'm still working on my first person shooter and why I think competitive nature has destroyed the first person genre. So look forward to that. Uh, uh, yeah, take care, guys.